10 minutes later after the drugs finally made it into his blood. Without FOIA, without the Freedom of Information Act, without sunshine, we don't find these things out. We don't find out what happened. You can't even figure out why it went wrong or anything about it. These are the kinds of things we're trying to hide. These letters I have from the drug manufacturers, that's what they want to hide. Folks, how many editorials have you read saying this bill is a good idea? I'd love to hear if there was a single one. We've had, ten, we've had six editorials now, papers all across the state, about five or six more op-eds. There hasn't been a single public call from anyone for us to vote for this bill. Not a single one. Only every single newspaper, in this, not every single one, almost every newspaper in the state is saying vote no. Now I want to tell you one more thing. There's a myth. I've heard this myth being circulated that this will end the death penalty in Virginia. Now, I would, I would ask the body, if this is going to end the death penalty in Virginia, how is it that 28 people got executed last year by lethal injection? How is it that, I think it's 12 so far this year have been executed? If the death penalty in this country is, is so jeopardized and it's so hard to find these drugs, why is it that states all around the country, including Virginia, have been able to execute 40 people with drugs in the last, in the last 16 months? We either have a Department of Corrections that doesn't know how to find these drugs, or somebody's not being honest with us. These drugs, there are ways to do this if you want to. Most of these other states have changed their protocol. It's not very hard. And if you read the Attorney General's opinion, one of the things he says is we can change our protocol if we'd like to. That there's ways to deal with this. My father always told me, my dad's a lawyer, and I practiced with him for uh, 20 years now. What he always told me is there's two kinds of lawyers. There's ones that will tell you, tell you every single problem with what you want to do, and there's another lawyer that will tell you how to solve it. And I think if the Department of Corrections would put their mind to it and not be worried about, about uh, all this oversight that, God forbid, the, that the people give them, they could actually figure out a way to do this. And the last thing I want to say, Mr. President, is I think this goes right to the heart of our government. You know, 239 years ago, 239 years and 10 months ago, Virginia adopted the Virginia Declaration of Rights. We have the anniversary, 240th anniversary of it coming up right, right up here in a few minutes, in a few months. And why, did, why was that adopted? Because I remember at the time, the king was stealing our property. We had troops in our homes. They were doing all kinds of crazy punishments on people. People didn't have rights at trial. People didn't have the right to freedom of speech, religion, press, none of those things. And we adopted that Virginia Declaration of Rights. We've come a long way, a long way so that the people have a right. The people have a right to see what their government's doing. The people have a right to information so that they can cast a knowing vote, so a legislature can provide proper oversight. And it's all because we have that Declaration of Rights. Why do we have that? Because we clothe our government with an extraordinary amount of power. Only the government can take your property. Only the government can take your liberty. Only the government can take your life. And with that awesome amount of power, with that awesome amount of responsibility, comes oversight. It comes transparency. It comes public, the public knowing what you're doing. And the only reason we want to do this is to shield government agents from doing something that makes us very uncomfortable, to shield corporations from doing things that make people uncomfortable. Why would we shield them from that? I want to quote you somebody I probably never will quote again, Justice Antonin Scalia. And what did Justice Scalia said about using the law to shield people from criticism? He said, there are laws against threats and intimidation, but harsh criticism, short of unlawful action, is a price our people have traditionally been willing to pay for self-governance. Free speech solves these problems. We have a public debate. We have a public. We get the information out there. Let the public go back and forth. That's how these problems got solved. But we don't close our eyes, put a, shale, a veil of secrecy over everything, throw, the, throw Virginia into the snake pit of litigation and secrecy in order to uh, keep doing uh, to, to solve. You know, keep doing something which which uh, makes us uncomfortable, Mr. President. We need to vote vote this down. Executions will go on in Virginia. We can deal with it next year. There's no urgency. We just need to vote this amendment down. Thank you.